goodness, this is so dry. What? I just, I just smelled it. Hey guys, welcome back. So got a review video for you today on some new products from Jordana, the Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lip Colors and also the Made to Last Liquid Eyeshadows. So I have all six shades of the eyeshadows and I have four of the liquid lip colors. So I'm gonna show you these on my lips as well as show you swatches on my hand and then I'll show you swatches on my hand of these and just give you my overall thoughts and impressions on these new products. So let's jump into it. Okay, so first let's start with the liquid lip colors, the Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lip Colors. So I bought mine at Walgreens and they were $4.99 each, but I have heard that they are less expensive at, I believe Kmart, and also possibly online on the J Jordana website. So I paid $4.99, but you might be able to get them a little bit cheaper. So the packaging is really cute. It's just, you know, kind of a small little to be liquid lipstick type of a deal. It's got like a little kind of angled doe foot applicator, which is really nice. It fits the lips really nicely. These do have a scent. They're like a really really sweet smell. It's kind of like vanilla, but also kind of like fake candy. They're so sweet. They're almost sickeningly sweet, but it's not a bad smell. It's just, it's so sweet. So I'm okay with the scent, but it's not my favorite. It's almost so sweet. It's getting into a little bit chemically. So there's that. So as far as the colors that I have tried and just kind of how comfortable they are, these do not all seem to be created equal. Some of these feel comfortable on the lips. I wouldn't say hydrating, but I wouldn't say uncomfortable, but a couple of them feel really dry, at least on my lips. That's what I'm experiencing with them. So I'm going to run through the different colors and I'll show you like what they look like, but also let you know kind of how they've worn on me and how comfortable each of the colors feel. The first one I have to show you is number one, creme brulee. And this is a beautiful color. It's just like a pinky mauve sort of a nude color. It's beautiful. I really love this color. Unfortunately, this was one that felt really dry on my lips. Um, like when I first apply it, it's okay, but then it gets very like that sort of papery kind of feel on your lips. You know what I'm talking about? If you've worn liquid lipsticks and kind of more drying ones, you probably know what I'm talking about. So it kind of has that papery sort of feel. So this one is on the dry side, but it's a really pretty color. This one's one of my very favorites. This is number two, Strawberry Cheesecake. And it is just a beautiful, kind of like warm pink. So it's moving towards a coral, but it's definitely still a pink overall, but a really pretty color. This one is more comfortable. This one doesn't feel as drying on my lips. Um, I've worn this for several hours. It wears really well. These do wear really well, um, but some of them just feel more drying than the others. Now, I did notice when I was eating with these, they really wouldn't make it through like a meal. They would kind of do the weird liquid lipstick thing where they would sort of like wear off a little bit unevenly. So, you know, you have that going on, but they're inexpensive. So this is a really pretty color. It's more comfortable, like of the ones I've tried, this is more comfortable, and I really like this one. This one's really bright and fun. This is number five, Mango Sorbet. And this one was uh, another one that was pretty comfortable. I didn't notice this one being as dry as Creme Brulee, and it's just a really pretty, bright orangey color. So it's kind of right in between an orange and a red, but it's definitely more orange than red. But I mean, it's bright. So if you're looking for a bright lip color, this is it for sure. And if you're wanting to try something bright, but you're not wanting to invest in a $25 or $30 lipstick, here you go. Here's a $5 really bright orange liquid lip color for you. Lastly is the worst one of the group. I really almost dreaded putting this on. This one is in, this is 04 Mixed Berry Souffle. Oof, it's a purple. It's a really bright, fun purple. I love the color, but goodness, this is so dry and uncomfortable. Oh, and it kind of like wore kind of patchy and as it dried, it looked sort of weird. It looked super dry on my lips when I wore this one. So I just really, 
don't like this one. So I would say skip on this color. So overall thoughts on the Sweet Cream mattes. I like them, especially the ones that are actually comfortable on my lips. I really don't like this one. Creme Brulee is, I mean, it's kind of more of your traditional liquid lip color sort of feeling on the lips. So that one's just kind of okay, but you know, I would say for $5, I think they're a good option and they do have some really fun color options. So, you know, if you're wanting just some inexpensive liquid lip colors, I think these are a good option. Now on to the made to last liquid eyeshadows. So I found these at Walgreens, they were $4.99 each. I have one of these ever since my friend Ashley did a great review video on them. I'll link it down below for you so you can check out her video too. But she just raved about these. She loves them, so I couldn't wait to find them. So I finally found them. I bought four. I liked them so much that I went back and bought the other two. So now I have all six. So I'm going to run through and show you the colors and then tell you what I think about them. First off, we have number one, Forever Sand. So let me show you. This is what they look like, the packaging. It's just in a little, like, you know, tubey thing. And then you have a little, like, flat sort of paddle applicator, but it's sort of like soft and fluffy sort of a little paddle applicator but i like it i think it's nice and i am able to use this on my eyes but i kind of like tap it on my eyes and then use my finger to blend it in so that's kind of how i use it so anyway forever what did i say forever sand is a really pretty kind of like light i don't know white gold sort of a color but look at that metallic sheen. What? Amazing. Amazing. Now some of these have some little like micro shimmer in them. I don't see much micro shimmer in this one. In the tube I can kind of see it, but in the swatch I really can't see it. And I feel like I didn't notice that as much on my eyes when I wore this one. But this is the lightest of the group and it's a beautiful color. Next is one of my favorites from the bunch. I'm wearing this on the inner half of my lids today. This is number two, Not A Wink Pink. And this is really kind of more of a rose gold. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't say this is a pink. Um, I would say this is more of a rose gold, but it is amazing. These do have a little bit of a scent. I forgot to tell you that, but I just, I just smelled it, so it reminded me of it. It's got like a little bit of an alcoholy sort of smell, but it's it's not bad. Honestly, I, I kind of like it because it sort of smells clean or something, but I'm sure that means it has alcohol in it, which I know isn't an ideal ingredient, but they're inexpensive and they're really nice. They really do perform nicely. So anyway, that color is just a beautiful rose gold. This one does have a little bit of micro shimmer in it and it does show up on the eyes, but it's just sparkly and beautiful and light and bright. Next is number three, Immortal Metal. And this one is sort of like, I don't know, like an army green kind of taupey color. It has quite a bit of like green tones in it. This is one that I didn't originally buy, but I went back and got it because I wanted to round out my collection so and i really like the other one so this one really is a cool color and i could see this like being really beautiful layered so i've worn these layered like as bases i'm wearing them by themselves i do have something a mat something in my crease right now but um i've worn them you know just kind of like not as bases just as a lid color or whatever and they work really well that way too so i feel like they're really versatile and just so pretty on the eyes. This one is number four, Uphold Gold. And this is a really bright, kind of vibrant sort of gold. So this one's moving towards like a coppery gold, or like kind of an old gold sort of a look. Well, maybe not old gold, maybe more of a coppery gold. But hello, that's really pretty. I love that one too. So if you like gold colors, if you like coppers, if you have blue or green eyes, it's going to make them pop. Really pretty, but even if you have brown eyes with like little flecks of, you know, cause some people have beautiful, I mean, everybody has beautiful eyes no matter what color they are, but some people have brown eyes with little gold flecks in them. So if you have that color eyes, oh my gosh, this would be amazing on you too. It'll be gorgeous on everybody though, because it's a really gorgeous color. This one is number five, Dusk Till Bronze. 
And this one is kind of a lighter, like chocolatey sort of a bronze. Oh my gosh, this one's really pretty because there's another bronze I'm about to show you that's a little bit darker. I almost wore this one on my eyes, but then it ended up going with the darkest color in my outer corner of my eyes. So anyway, here is this one. Beautiful bronze, amazing, gorgeous color. I love it. You can see how these just like catch the light. Oh, so they, they're not duochrome, but they're just so metallic that they just catch the light and just reflect and look amazing. And then lastly is number six, Around Town Brown. And this is the one that I have in the outer corner of my eyes, just to kind of like deepen up my outer corner. So this one is more of a bronzy color, so it's um, more warm toned than the other one. This one is darker and more warm toned. Yeah, you can see the difference when I show you. So that's amazing. And I feel like a lot of these colors really pair nicely together because they're just beautiful neutrals. So you can kind of just like play around with how you pair them together. But just look at them. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. So you can probably already tell but my overall review on the Made to Last Liquid Eyeshadows is that I absolutely love them. I think you should absolutely go try at least one to see what you think about them, but I think they're amazing. I think they are so pigmented. They blend nicely on the eyes. They work together nicely. Um, they wear really well throughout the day. They're inexpensive. They're beautiful colors. These are an absolute total win. One of my new favorite products from the drugstore just all-encompassing, all categories. It's now one of my very favorite products at the drugstore. I love them. All right, guys, so that wraps up my review on some new goodies from Jordana. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for you. Please give it a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below if you've tried these products, what you're thinking about them, what are some of your favorite shades from each of the lines. I always enjoy hearing your thoughts and opinions. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.